Football Manager 24 in-game editor. What is it all about? Well, in today's video, that's what we're going to go through. How do you get it and what can you do with it? So what you want to do is you want to load up the game. There I am in my tracksuit bottoms. I don't know why I went there. I was wearing a suit previously. You want to go to more. Then you want to go to downloads. And in here, as you can see, it says in-game editor. It is $6.99. You want to click on buy now and then check out. And then you'll have to put in all your payment details. Once that's all gone through, it's going to pop up purchase successful. And there you go down at the bottom. It will say unlocked. So you can close that now and start a new game. You can also go into a current game as long as you've made sure that this box uh, has been unticked. Uh, because if you have it ticked and then you go into a current save, you won't be able to use in-game editor. So I'm going to quickly start up a new save with that box unticked. I keep on saying it's so important that that box is unticked. So please make sure it is. And then you get a message about the FM in-game editor for the first time that you're using it. There is also a online manual that you can use. Next example, we've gone to Chef Wednesday because why not? Chef Wednesday obviously aren't doing very well. They're a team I support. We might as well cheat and get them looking good, which is very unrealistic. And it's definitely a cheat as I put there on my save. Up on top corner here, as I point to it, you've got an icon. If you don't have the icon, you can't see it there. Go to preferences. If you go to interface, you will see that the show in-game editor in the menu bar, ensure that is ticked. If you do have to put it in there, obviously go down to the bottom and press confirm. Mine's already there, so I can just leave. And then you should see that little pen up top. And these are things that you can do. I'm just having a quick look at where we should start first. Become unsackable. Amazing one if you're doing tactic testing. We go into club. Here you go, edit club details. So general, you can do reputation, moral, change your background and color, uh, foreground color, professional status, bank balance. You can change it. We're going to change it probably, I don't know, a billion pounds maybe. And then scouting budget, just add a zero to the end of it and transfer budget a couple of zeros there. Wage budget, obviously add a couple of zeros there or one zero, 3.7 million should be enough for us. You can change the rich beneficial, either underwriter, front end, all that jazz. And then within finance, you have more tabs. So you've got the income and you've got the debt and loans. We don't want any debts. Let's get rid of them. You can up the income as well. So you can make the club more sufficient so that you don't have to keep them going in and giving yourself more money. Then you've got sell on clauses, buyback clauses and so forth. We can go into facilities, stadium condition. We want the best right? We're cheating. You, if you're going to cheat, you might as well cheat. So we want the best there. We've got money in the bank. We want all the best facilities possible as well. See if we can bring through those wonder kids. Relationships, that's fine. I wouldn't change. And uh, current affiliations and retired squad numbers. Happy with that. That's fine. We we'll move on and see what else we can do. And there you go. I just go to our finances. You can see 1 billion and we've got 25 million pounds in for transfer budget. I kind of wanted that to be 250 million pounds. So if you've made any mistakes, you can go straight back into the in-game editor and just add an extra zero where you need to. And there you go. It shows up 250 million, 3.7 million in wage budget. Now let's put in probably one of the best strikers in the world at the moment. Erlen Haaland. I did this last year as well. I think I used him as part of my thumbnail. And you can literally just go... You want him, go up to the pen, move to my club. We don't want to pay a transfer fee. That's just silly. Don't want to arrange any of this. And there you go. Erling Haaland is at Sheffield Wednesday on a free transfer. Amazing. You can edit for player stats as well just by going into the pen and press start editing. And then you can just go one by one and change them all to 20 if that's what you want to do. I was looking at, uh, they used to be with the in-game editor, but you could, or or even the pre-game editor, you could, there was option going Superman. So I was actually just having a quick look at the in-game editor to see if that was an option, but it's not. But there is something else that you can do. Well, two things, you can freeze for attributes, so that whatever attributes you put in to the player, you can just go freeze attributes and voila, they stay throughout his whole career. 
So you could be 40 years old and still be 20 in everything. So let's finish up doing some of the technical 20s. So once you've finished that, you can then go back to the editor. And if you want to keep how you've got it, so if you did all 20s across, you can go to export attribute template and we will call it Superman because there was an option for that. And then we're going to go to another player in for Chef Wednesday squad already. For this example, I'm going to use Anti Masaba because I actually I think he's one of our best players at the moment of the season. And all you do is get back to a pen, go to import, select your import, and there you go. Stack same stats as what we've just given Highland. You can remove his work permit. As you can see, there was a tick there. We can just tick that. And then you unfortunately you do have to apply for another work permit. So I'm not too sure what that actually gives you. You can also go into the player attribute details and change their current ability and their potential ability. You can change other stats like their fitness. So fatigue at a moment is minus 125. Let's make them all nice and fit and just put them at. So minus 500, I believe I was reading that was right. So lower it is the less fatigue value. So actually it wasn't too bad. Match sharpness, I'm presuming you would probably want to put them high so that they're sharp. You can do positions, player traits, trained at club, trained in nation. As we go into a competition, so we go to a championship, you can edit competition details, just the details, not the rules. And I'll show you that in a minute. You can change its name just to championship if you don't want sky bet. I mean, you can even set how big the pitches for minimum and maximum is. It's, it's crazy what you can do in game. Don't forget, this is purely in game. You can make the competitions have VAR or turn them off if you really get annoyed by VAR. To be fair, I'm getting quite annoyed by VAR because every decision is being put to VAR. feels like the referees just got completely lazy. I don't think that's fair in real life of how it is. I think refs still make a decision. But if we go to the rules, as you can see, you can't. it's just nothing you can change. Apart from maybe for sub rules, that's about it. But that was new last year as well. So what else can we do? Can we do anything with the board stuff? I think, again, it's all just part of the club. So if you're in the club, it still comes up with the stuff. But you can look at kits. You can edit your kits so you can play one season and just keep on changing them every season. If, if you don't want to cheat, I think that's a great option to utilize because kits always change each year. And if you're a kit creator, that could be a quite cool one to use. Allow our license kits. Remove support objectives, show all staff in search, show all players in search, allow squad numbers anytime, allow squad registration anytime. It just feels quite endless stuff you can do. I like the idea that you can remove objectives. And then if we do go to a squad, so it is slightly different in club vision to what you get. Uh, you can maximize existing tactical familiarity. Now I checked this. Maybe I need to progress maybe a day in the game for the familiarity to click in. But I pressed it and I saw nothing. And I even ended up adding in like for best squad. I got my assistant just to pick it, just to see if familiarity just goes to maximum. And as you will see, it didn't. And I was thinking, OK, let's try clicking that again and nothing. So I thought that was a little bit weird. Uh, maybe again, you maybe you have to continue. I didn't check that bit. You can change all your morals. So as you can see, it's pr morals pretty rubbish. And bam, bam, click on a finger. They're all now perfect, which will obviously help them probably play a little bit better because it all helps. Improve team cohesion. I don't know where that shows. I think that's going to show us in the squad page. I've got to find it. Where is it? Uh, dynamics. That's the one. And there you go. So club atmosphere is excellent and team cohesion is excellent. So it all goes well. Managerial support. Shame that you can't change that to excellent. Uh, but you can remove all bans, remove all injuries, remove all unhappiness. As I'm going to just show an example now, that info squad, you've got three injuries. Click of a button, gone. Did you see that? Magic. So if you go into scouting, one thing I've found is that if you get rid of all interested in, so that all players come up, look, I've got 15,000 because I'm showing all players. If you don't have that on as an option, you only show 8,000 because that's all for scouting capacity you have. But actually, for full capacity, is 15,000. So you're missing half of the players from view, which is crazy, right? So a really whistle-stop tour of what the in-game editor can do. Remember, it's in-game, not pre-game. What's the difference? So pre-game, you can do 
structural changes to the competitions where that can implement rule changes. And then in game is you can, as you're playing, you can make slight changes. You can move players left, right, and center, or you can do pretty much everything that I've just taken you through. If you have the money and you're going to utilize the in-game editor, I think it's well worth it. You can put some more realisms into the game, not just by cheating. As I said, you can change the kits as an example. Well, thank you for watching. If you like this video, you know what you need to do. Hit that like button. And if you would like to see further content like this, then hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you on for the next one.